there wasn't conversations like this, like, well, I'll be in charge, like, for decades. And now, just the last few years, it has felt like he, he wanted his life to look more like that. The relationship that he has with Robin. Well, I mean, I from what I see from the outside, it looks like Robin is willing to live that way. And that's great. Does that feel, like, really unfair? It feels like it would be nice if I if I had a husband who who would f see my perspective as much as he seems to see Robin's. It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday, December 20th, 2022, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Woo! Okay, so generally on this channel, we talk about a couple topics, uh, some reality television, Sister Wives, Duggars, Gosling sometimes, Little People Big World sometimes, sometimes a random story about things. And I was binging Netflix and I was watching the uh, Netflix series, Harry and Meghan, who I've followed on and off for years, but wondering what your thoughts were about that series. I feel like it's a rabbit hole that's never ending, but I found it intriguing. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are and what is it that you're binging on on Netflix or any streaming network right now? So uh, let's talk about something that I thought was worth having a discussion about because Robin Brown's favoritism was on full display on the most recent tell-all of Sister Wives. And something that I haven't talked about on this channel is some insight that uh, Gwendolyn Brown, Christine, and Cody's daughter has provided via her Patreon that has actually been reported more widely in the media uh, I haven't really spoken too much about it just because I just, it's been so inundated with what we're talking about with the show here. So, uh, and I also got an email from one of Cody's neighbors today. I was like, wow, so everyone's talking about the Browns. It's, it's a wild, wild few days. Uh, so Gwendolyn Brown, who is the, I think, third, fourth, fourth of six for the Browns, uh, for Christine, and she is recently engaged. She got engaged to her girlfriend, Beatrice, and she has been sharing content over on her Patreon account, Patreon account to her patrons. Patreon is a paid part, it's like a paid platform where you have to pay for content and then creators can upload information. And she has posted some Q and A's, she's posted a couple of videos, some behind the scenes things. And really early on, in the very first few days of her having the Patreon, she answered some questions about Robin. So there's always like a lot of intrigue about Robin and their relationships with the wider family because the, the, the discussion about Robin is always ongoing because one, it's Cody's favorite wife. Two, there's this constant debate, is Robin manipulative? Is she the one that's pulling the string? Is she the one that's making the decisions? Is she the one that's in control? Is Cody the one that's in control? Who is controlling who? Or have they come together and created this dynamic duo and they feed off of each other? Uh, yeah. Now, Cody says he's the head of the household and Robin says that she's the head of, uh, that Cody's the head of her household, but that doesn't mean Robin doesn't find ways to get what she wants. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kristen Decker told us all about that in her interview with me last week. Make sure to check that out if you haven't seen it yet. One question that's come up is, do you think the family regrets actually bringing Robin into the family? Well, there's actually this new article that came out by The Sun. Now, take this with a grain of salt. It is The Sun. Uh, but they claim that Mary might have some regrets. So Mary's having some thoughts about this whole thing, which we'll dive into in a second. So we're going to dive into, has anyone confronted Cody and Robin in the family about their relationship? Have the kids confronted him? And what actually happens when this happens? So, and... We are also gonna talk about something incredibly insensitive that might show you the true colors of who Robin is when the cameras aren't filming. So before we dive into this topic today, can you do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up? Also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed and turn those notifications on so you know when I go live or when new content loads. 
and make sure to leave a comment if you have something to say. Our goal, my goal, is to hit 500,000 subscribers by 2024. So we have a lot of time. But if you haven't taken the plunge, make sure to uh, hit the subscribe button. Also, if there's a topic you want me to cover, I'm all ears. So Sister Wives is uh, the 18, 17 seasons. They've been on air for 12 years. And I actually was uh, thinking about this the other day. Actually, no, yesterday. I, I was putting together like a screen uh, side by side of like Cody's progressive faces while he was trying to cry when Suki was talking to him about the Rice Krispie treats, which I have now labeled Rice Krispie Treat Gate because come on now, like everyone that watched the show knows that he made, she makes the treats every year. He didn't want to reconcile and he's really committed to this lie. And so did Robin. Robin has committed to his lies too. And apparently in an upcoming episode, she's going to say that Christine is the reason why they didn't reconcile, which we all know is false. Anyways, now I want to preface this by saying a few days that the sun seems to have a source and I don't know who the source is, but they misreported that Janelle lives in Utah. She doesn't. And they also misreported that she's staying with her daughter, Savannah. Um, Savannah's still in high school. So of course, Savannah is living with her. And she they falsely reported or uh, made, maybe mistakenly reported that she was staying with Savannah in Las Vegas, which is not true. So some information they have, I think, is accurate. Other times I'm like, I don't think they've got a source completely legit. And, and, and on that one article, I was like, ooh, that's questionable. This one actually makes a little bit of sense to me because it actually matches things that Mary has said publicly. So on the show, and even though she loves Robin or claims to love Robin on the show, she is in the very first season and in their book, Becoming Sister Wives, wrote about how when Robin joined the family, she was very jealous because she and Cody were going through a really difficult time. Their, their relationship had been in a very ugly space for many years leading up to the show. So uh, nothing was ever roses or beers and Skittles, as Cody would say. But the headline with The Sun says that Sister Wives Mary Brown was always jealous of husband Cody's favorite wife, Robin, before the split in the fam with the split from the family. This should surprise literally no one. Again, it's in their book, Becoming Sister Wives, which, by the way, if you haven't read it yet, go pick it up. It's on Kindle and you can get it on Amazon. And it was written a million years ago and it's full of a lot of inflated lies, but they're in there lies some truth. So anyways, uh, apparently Mary has always been jealous of Cody's favorite wife. OK, and uh, this this says Mary the whole time was jealous of Robin, of every choice she's made. And every choice she's made was to get Cody's attention 100%. And she regrets bringing Robin into the family. Okay, so Mary has been jealous of Robin and every choice she made was to get Cody's attention 100%. Are they talking about Mary or are they talking about Robin choices that she made? And she regrets bringing Robin into the family. What does that mean? Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> Mary is the bait and I've told you how I spoke to the journalist who let me know about how Robin had this like grand, grand plan that she was just like not going to live in a trailer up in Montana. So she like left David and moved down to Montana, uh, Utah and ended up making contact with the, the Browns. Mary was the one to introduce Cody and Robin or they apparently met at, a, at her cousin's house. But anyways, she, uh, she was, regrets bringing Robin into it, but at the same time bringing Robin into the family, she probably was doing to get on good favor with Cody. Now, a lot of people have speculated that Mary uh, did this because she was tired of the way that he was always with Jan with Christine and, and Janelle, and so it was almost like payback uh, to get back at them because she didn't like that Christine was getting attention from Cody. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's always what the speculation is. More than often than not, it was probably that Cody wanted another wife and Mary felt like it was her duty to find him another wife. She was the one that would bring in the bait. She was the bait that lured them in, love bombed them, and then introduced the wives to Cody. Mary apparently was shocked on the show in the tell-all when she acted like it was a surprise when Cody said to her, like, we haven't been acting like we're married. The insider said this. The separation does not come as a shock to those who knew what was going on. They said, it's been like this for years. They haven't even had any sort of relationship. They haven't even had a friendship. They haven't had any sleepovers. He doesn't go to her house unless he has to. They don't even talk or text. 
They've practically been split since the catfishing incident. I think the source might be coming from Cody. Anyway, Cody lost faith in her when she publicly decided to pretend she was having a relationship with someone else. When she publicly decided to pretend. It was all about her betrayal and not wanting to take responsibility for it at all. It never went away. He doesn't trust her at all. She's humiliated him. He was hurt and betrayed and embarrassed. That will never go away. Oh my goodness. So Cody is hurt and betrayed because Mary had the audacity to talk to someone online. Anyways, but he can go boink everyone else because, you know, it's in their faith. It's not surprising. And I don't think anyone else here is surprised. They haven't been together in like seven years, eight years. It's been a long time. And whether or not Robin will actually leave, the source said, I don't think Robin will ever leave. She has a horrible time when she had a horrible time when she was divorced and she doesn't do well as a single mom. Uh, but she's also not happy and is sad about the family being broken up. And but she's in a better place now that she doesn't have to be a target for everyone's anger and hatred. Now, she believes in plural marriage, but Janelle admitted on the show that she doesn't even know where Cody stands. And some of you don't even believe that they're uh, actually in their faith. Uh, my interview with Kristen Decker, she believes that they still believe. She believes at least Cody and Robin still believe. Whether, even though they're not part of a church and they don't actually go to a church, it doesn't really matter because uh, Kristen said a lot of fundamentalists don't have a like a head leader anymore. They don't ascribe to a church. They're just like independents. But if you look at who Cody's friends are, there he is friends with a ton of polygamists. He actually is friends with a lot that live in the Rockland Ranch area. You know those houses that are in Utah that are all like blown out uh, of the caves. Yeah. So he's friends with those independent uh, polygamists uh, like Enoch Foster and his brother-in-law Nathan through Mary. Uh, Nathan and Rebecca live out there. So he, and he's in business with Nathan. So he is around polygamists. And I, I don't think that he doesn't believe in this. I think that he might be at a crossroads and you might have found it complicated, but I do think that Robin still believes. Anyways, now Robin apparently is going to stay with Cody, but check this out. Apparently Robin isn't as nice as you would think. And off camera, she is actually kind of a meanie head. I don't know, how do you say it? So Gwendolyn Brown was doing a Q&A on her Patreon and she was saying that uh, Robin has this tendency to want to save things for the camera. So apparently Gwendolyn coming out when she uh, came out to her family and told them that she was bisexual, uh, she said that a lot of people in her family already had an inkling or a feeling and her mom actually got her a uh, pride flag before she ever came out herself. Um, because her mom thought like, oh, she's an ally. And Christine said on the show that she had a feeling that Gwendolyn was uh, bi and so she wanted to support her. So she, you know, caught her, got her the flag. And she, and, Ro and Gwendolyn did say that her mom was super supportive. And so when Gwendolyn finally told the rest of the family, she said that Robin told her Robin's reaction was not like, oh, I'm so happy for you. I'm so glad for you. It was, you really should have saved that for the camera. And Gwendolyn described that interaction as hurtful and disrespectful. And so when people asked her, you know, is Robin like that? Is she always like that? Is she cold? Is she is she really LGBT supportive? She didn't really say anything about that, but she did say that Robin has a victim mentality and believes that everyone is out to get her children and that there has been numerous arguments where she believes that the whole family is out to get her and paranoid about how her children are treated. This was also echoed in statements by Peyton about how Robin is very particular about how her kids are treated and thinks that everyone is out to get them. This is probably paranoia that is fed to her by Cody. It's like a sick cycle. Anyways, so she said that Robin is worse off camera. She doesn't like Robin. She was hurt when Robin actually said, you should have saved that for off camera. And, she, and honestly, she said that that was like the worst reaction that she got. You should have saved that for the camera. Like everything in their lives is only for TV, which is so disgusting. You are great as long as I can monetize monetize your sexuality coming out. Gross, Robin, if that's true, gross. So Robin is all about the show 
and all about making money and making sure that they can get the moments caught, right? So anyways, they were. she was also asked in this very early Q&A about, has the family ever asked Cody and confronted Cody about Robin? Because she said before that Robin came into the picture, they were kind of all a family. They all lived in the same house and her dad was sort of around, but she did describe her relationship with her dad as sort of like never super close because he has so many kids and he was always bouncing around from place to place. She mentioned that uh, she didn't respect her mom when she was with her dad. So someone asked Gwen whether or not they actually like confront Cody about Robin and how they're treated. And she said, we do avoid it but sometimes one of us will break down and ask him about it, and but we're not very confrontational. And she said that he usually denies it when they confront him about why did you pick Robin and her kids over us. And she said this, most of the kids have. One time he responded to the one of us like, I prefer people who prefer me. So he has no remorse. She also said that if he's like it, she people ask like is he faking being a good father like did something change and she said i don't know but i think he just started to realize that his life with robin and there he just started to like the life that he had better with robin and her kids so they've confronted cody cody has basically denied it as a part of it he will not actually acknowledge them so he prefers to be around people that like him we already know that that's why he likes the tender age kids okay so Robin wants people to save things for the camera. She thinks that all everyone's out to get her and her kids and Ro Cody denies things and then says that he prefers people that like him. So Robin's willing to play Cody's game and Robin is willing to do whatever she needs in order to get what she wants. So Cody and Robin are going to commit to whatever lie they can, whatever storyline they can get to keep the intrigue in the show going. So the next question is, what about hap what happens with the next season? Well, they're still under contract, you guys, and this was an, this season was a ratings winner. As much as you hate Cody, this pre the premiere episode of this season, 2.2 million people tuned in, and they're continuing to get like super big ratings, and people are enamored or not enamored or just like enthralled or like they can't believe the train wreck is happening. And so yes, season 18 is filming, but. Cody is under contract, so that means he has to do something if he wants to maintain the show. And they have a multi-year contract. And because of that, uh, and the show is built on him being a polygamist, so he either has to commit to still being a polygamist or he has to figure out something else to do for the show. Um, but the rest of the ladies are gunning for their own spinoff, which would be sort of life after polygamy. Would you watch that show? Now, what if Cody and Robin did a show of like life after polygamy? Would you watch a co show of Cody and Robin? I would love to know what your thoughts are. So Mary regrets things. Janelle told you what she said in the beginning, and it's echoed by Gwendolyn as well. It seems like a lot of people have a lot to say about Robin, but is it really Robin's fault or is it polygamy's fault or is it Cody's fault? Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.